Um, the 914 is getting ready to leave the shop. Um, got all the body work done, all the paint done, minus one piece, which I will talk about in a minute. Um, actually two pieces, but one of them you don't ever see, it, whatever. Um, anyway, so it's getting ready to leave the shop. This thing is going on a transport to Patrick Motorsports out in Arizona. He is apparently a 914 guru, maybe even a Porsche in general guru um, i know he makes a lot of fiberglass parts a lot of which were used on this car um that's actually a 914 windshield there but uh anyway i guess i will turn you around and and let you see kind of the almost finished product skirts also Patrick Motorsports a another gloss black piece um, this color is actually a Porsche signal green um, it's off of like a 96 97 911 please don't like quote me on that because I'm not incredibly sure but that's if my memory is, is right that's what I was thinking that we that we got um, you see there are still a few pieces left. We have door panels. We are still waiting on parts for the windows for this car. Um, it's a really, really weird thing. We were thinking this was a 73. It turns out it's a 70 or 71. Um, and in that three year span, there are several different window um, configurations. This particular one being an earlier model has a channel inside of the the window frame here that has little rollers on it that go up and down with the window the later models do not have that um and so we're, we had to order some some new little rollers and whatnot that and some people have asked well, why not just change the regulators and all well the actual regulators themselves are different too so it's a whole big long list of of things that don't fit um so we've had to kind of wait on that um patrick is also going to put a, a glass in this car as well as the motor and transmission um and i think he's doing the brake lines too uh, we put the brake system in as far as like the actual calipers and all that um but we've put led headlights in this car we did a custom dash we did the wide body We've had to adjust a few of the, the fiberglass pieces. Um, we've put the sound deadening in here, vinyl top, uh, a lot. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember this car when it was first here, but it was silver, full of rust, kind of wild. Um, we are getting ready to put the seats in once we finish the carpet kit. Um, the seats are from a guy out of Texas. His name is Stefan. And he, uh, let's see. His name is Stefan Sheezing from 
Manchaca, Texas. But kind of give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here. Get one of these things out. Seats are super nice, super nice stitching all over it. And we have headrests and everything for these. So pretty sweet. And believe it or not, the steering wheel is actually matched. The stitching is very similar. Um, I mean, it's now identical. Um, and because they're so nice, we have obviously haven't put them in the car yet because we've still had some some sanding and some other body work going on, not necessarily on this car, but in the shop. So those will be essentially the, the last things put in the car. Um, the only things that are left for us to do are the seats, steering wheel, the front bumper, which we had to wait on, on another little piece to get done. And also the front valance. We were having an issue with it. We think we've got it fixed. Um, we were just having a reaction with the paint and it wasn't doing very well. But we're pretty sure we've got it taken care of. So we're going to get that painted this evening. And then assemble this car. And it will be on its final journey away from us. And hopefully we will get to see it again. Because we really want to ride in it. Because, I mean, 3.4 stroker, 300 horsepower, crazy motor in a 1,800 pound car. This thing should be a blast. I mean, it should just be incredible to drive. But anyway, this video is getting kind of long. I uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and that right there, that hole is a custom uh, fuel filler thing. Um, Patrick's actually putting that in too. So uh, hopefully when this thing comes back, it'll just be just done and incredible. Anyway, hope you guys have a, have a good evening. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I mean, as you can see, we've got a couple other pretty crazy things. Even though this looks like a shelf, it's, it's pretty mean. I mean, it's, it's got a lot of money tied up in and stuff i mean just the motor in there i know you can't really see right now but uh yeah and then old old heavy back there we kind of have a hellcat motor for that so stay tuned thank you for watching see you later